Moscato, margaritas, Rheingeist bubbles. Rheingeist, it's a Cincinnati favorite. I love their rosé cider. Oh gosh, I love foofy drinks. But I'm not really that big of a drinker. I'm more of a, of a dabbler. But I have heard the phrase, alcohol kills brain cells. And I wondered if it were true or just a scare tactic to keep minors off the sauce. See, I'm not a big drinker just by the nature of what I do, the whole fitness and wellness thing. But I did think it would be interesting to go on a fact-finding mission to learn if alcohol truly does kill brain cells. Does it? This episode would be so much more fun if I were discussing it over a drink with one Dr. James Hamblin. But for the purposes of today's show, I'll be drinking alone. Before we get into the specifics of whether alcohol kills brain cells, we have to talk about the word toxin. Alcohol is classified as a neurotoxin. But there are people out there who would tell you to avoid all toxins at all costs. But honestly, if we were to avoid, completely avoid all toxins in life, we would have to be living in a plastic bubble like John Travolta in that wonderful movie, Boy in the Plastic Bubble. You really want to live that way? I don't think so. Here's what you need to know about toxins. Toxins are not poisonous. It's the dose of a toxin that makes it poisonous. For someone like me, no brain cells are being harmed with my one, okay, two foofy drinks. But for those who drink more, again, minimal harm to cells. More grave is the damage to the peripheral nerves called dendrites. Alcohol abuse damages the ends of neurons that send signals for communication to other parts of the body. The cell is damaged, though not dead, but the way it communicates is negatively altered. This means cognitive and emotional deficits. Now, this damage can be reversed if alcohol consumption is decreased. Drink responsibly, my friends, for the health of it. Oh my gosh, this is George's I don't like. That's not my drink.